The U.N. humanitarian coordinator and the World Health Organization are outraged by the recent decision of the Israeli and Egyptian governments to halt the referrals of medical patients to health care facilities outside the Gaza Strip. Since the Palestinian Authority has no real presence in the governmental structures of Gaza, Hamas stepped in on March 22nd to run the PA's Ministry of Health Referral Abroad Department, a move that Israel and Egypt classified as a terrorist group takeover, which now means even the sickest, most needful of Gazans are trapped. Most shockingly, the civilians of Gaza seem to have been sold out by authorities in the West Bank. The Palestinian Authority's Ministry of Health in Ramallah will not approve or fund applications as a result, and Israel and Egypt will not allow them to exit Gaza unless they have been approved by the Palestinian Authority. With internal Palestinian disputes growing to an alarming level, it seems the Palestinian Authority in Ramallah is willing to sacrifice suffering civilians in order to reclaim power from Hamas. With neither Palestinian faction able to gain absolute power in Gaza, it is now up to the international aid organizations to step in and help those suffering. Both WHO and the Humanitarian Coordinator's Office have intervened in Gaza to seek the urgent reversal of the 22nd of March decision, but have not received a positive response. The United Nations remains under heavy pressure to get Israel to halt its blockade on Gaza, which has left the Strip in dire straits, with some U.N. delegates referring to it as a living hell. With the U.N. now seeming to focus on the issue of referrals of medical patients from Gaza, many want them to remain focused on the broader issue of ending the overall blockade. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon spokesperson Michelle Montes says the U.N. continues negotiating on all fronts. What I can say at this point is that, uh, you know, this is a specific issue that they are addressing. But they are not stopping to address other issues. These are continuing. But with the major bombing campaign having begun over three months ago, some are saying the U.N. can provide the citizens of Gaza with little more than words of comfort, something the U.N. takes deep offense to. We have not stopped saying the same thing over and over again, that the, you know, the crossings should be open not only for humanitarian assistance, but should be open for reconstruction needs. For now, the Secretary General and his surrogates insist they're doing all they can in dealing with a stubborn Israeli government. One UN official telling Press TV that only sustained pressure by world public opinion will bring about the change needed for Gaza. Mike Mazzocco, Press TV, United Nations.